Hello everyone! Last time we made our player able to die if enemy touches him. Just one touch and player dies. Let's give our character some health so he could survive several hits. We create some health bar made of three little hearts. I already have a heart sprite in my art folder, so I drag it to my scene window and place it over character's head. Duplicate it twice and position these two new hearts something that way. Select all of the hearts and let them be childs of our player by dragging and dropping them to player game object. Now they go along with the player. To make desirable functionality works, we need to add some code to player control script. But first let's rename our hearts. They will be heart 1, heart 2 and heart 3. Ok, in player control script we need to add some new variables as usual. First will be hearts public game objects, heart1, heart2 and heart3. Next variable is int player health equals to 3 and make it public too so we can change its value in inspector. Next ones are int player layer and enemy layer. We will need them to temporarily disable collisions between enemies and player. Next variable is bool coroutine allow it, which is true. We need this variable to control coroutine starting, which is a good practice. Next one is color and render. These variables will help us make our player semi transparent. Ok. Next code goes in start method. First we obtain player layer and enemy layer indexes. Then we enable collision between player and enemies. Next step is to assign heart variable to corresponding game objects. We use find method in this case. And let's set them to active state in case if they were set to inactive state earlier. Then we assign renderer and color. Ok. Next bunch of code goes to onCollision and the 2D method, right inside the statement when enemy touches our player. First we need to decrease player health by 1. Then switch operator goes. So if player health equals to 2, then heart 3 gotta be disabled. And if coroutine is allowed, then start a coroutine named Immortal, which we will implement a bit later. Another two conditions nearly the same, so we can copy this block of code and just change some numbers. Ok, now let's create a coroutine named Immortal. Inside it, next code goes. First we have to deny starting new coroutine while one is running. Then disable collision between player and enemy. Then make a character semi-transparent.
and then set a delay before execution of next part of code to 3 seconds. And after 3 seconds we bring collision detection and transparency back to normal. And we can allow new coroutine execution. OK. I've made some mistakes while coding, so let's correct them. First one is that int variable doesn't need f suffix. And another mistake is that I've forgotten to put our game over state code block to if statement if player health equals to zero. Ok, that's it. Now we can hit play and see the results. Now our player loses one heart when enemy touches him. But we have some issue that his bullet can't harm enemy while player is in a mortal state. To fix this issue we need to put our bullet prefabs to new layer. Create bullet layer, name it bullet and set it to bullet prefabs. Ok, now everything works fine. Thank you for watching, see you next time.